Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will try to show you how you can upload your 3D model to Sketchfab using custom built uh, light maps in combination with tiling textures and textures where you reuse parts over and over. So this is a small French house I made a few months ago during class at Digital Arts and Entertainment. Uh, this was an assignment from the first year and needed to be uploaded to Sketchfab. Uh, Sketchfab, the 3ds Max exporter from Sketchfab, has a built-in functionality to render out light bakes. Uh, however, this had a few drawbacks. Uh, there were issues with um, opacity and uh, tiling textures um, and a lot of loss of uh, resolution and details. Uh, if you do a custom bake of your light map, this will not be the case and uh, you have a bit more options. In this model, um, we have a lot of different uh, textures so um, and a few different uh, parts of the model. So these are a few different parts. So the first step, combine the model to one model. Um, this will make it a bit easier. So attach everything together, um, attach these uh, loose parts together, uh, that part. And uh, since I'm using multiple materials here, I need to use this option. So uh, the smaller plants, I think there were some parts there. All right, uh, that's it. The second thing is to add a second UV channel to this model. So the first UV channel is, is used for all these different diffuse textures. So we have to add a second UV channel to the model. So make sure before you start unwrapping that you switch to channel 2. Uh, move or abandon, in this case it's not very important. Alright, and then um, we want everything in our uh, UV space between 0 and 1. Um, you can do a lot of custom work, but for this model I found that a simple flatten mapping was sufficient. Um, if you have issues there, you can manually tweak uh, parts where you have issues. Um, if there are parts which are more important than other parts, uh, then you can do that manually as well. But for this, I think a spacing of uh, 0 0.002 and allow this a bit more was working fine. So there's definitely some lost space, but not too much. It will work fine there. I'm sure you can get this better if you do it manually, uh, but this this is okay for me. All right. Uh, so this is actually the model that we want to export, but for light bake, I would suggest copying the model. So just make a copy of that model. Right, and on this model you can set up a light um, light environment. Um, I will use uh, a simple uh, free direct spot in combination with a skylight because it's a simple outdoors daylight scene. Uh, if you have uh, torches or other sources of light, you can use omnis and all other sorts of uh, lights. I'm pretty sure you can also use manta ray, phi ray to build your light but this is just a simple setup. Alright, so here's my setup. Um, I'm having this uh, direct spot um, as a slightly warm color and the shadows of course, pretty important, are set to ray traced shadows. Um, I also have a, a skylight here, slightly blue, the shadows are also turned off. Um, so now it's time to bake our shadow, so bring up the render to texture menu um, and let's uh, go into this. So first you'd want uh, quite a bit of padding you want to use channel 2 obviously so that's very important and let's add our light map in here alright since we're combining uh, a light map and normal detailed diffuse textures, 
or light map for an entire model must not be super high. I suggest trying 1K. If that looks sharp enough, then fine. Uh, otherwise, you can do a render, which will take four times as long of 2K, like that. And that's it. And now we start rendering. It will take a little while. So I suggest you have previews first uh, in the normal render. So this should look very similar to what you will see eventually um, on Sketchfab. Okay, so let's uh, start rendering. Okay. Alright, so this is the result, which is okay. But you might have noticed that uh, the house turned all grey in Max. Um, I'm not sure if this model is ready to be exported into Sketchfab. I am, however, pretty sure that this model that I uh, copied is ready to uh, is a good model to export. Something else that you can do as well is to open up your uh, lightning uh, bake results in Photoshop and crank up the levels a little bit. Um, just to give it a bit more punch. Here it's turning blue, so you might want to desaturate it a bit. Anything that, well, comes down to personal preference, obviously. Let's go back into Max and uh, let's export that model. So you don't want to use the exporter um, delivered by uh, by Sketchfab. Simply do a manual export as uh, FBX. Right, and what's uh, really important here is this button Embed Media needs to be turned on. Um, if this is not turned on, the FBX will not have the second UV channel in inside um, inside the export uh, file. All right, so let's go into Sketchfab and hit the Upload button. Choose a file. Choose that one. Right, whatever name. I will leave it private for uh, for now. Right, and let's go into the three D settings. Um, first off, you can uh, set this to shaderless because we don't need the lighting uh, from from Sketchfab. Of course, it's uh, our lighting baked is will be much better, so we can just leave it as a diffuse only. Let's go into the materials. Um, we don't need specular, we don't need normal maps, just the light maps here. Choose a texture. There, there's no no light map texture in here. It's only the diffuse maps and that one opacity channel that I have. So we have to go into manage textures, import textures, and select that one. All right. With that one selected, you now need to go over every over every material inside. Uh, so on this one won't be too visible. On the roof you'll see the shadows of the chimney. Unix. And last on the walls. So there you go. You see that now the model everything has some shadow. Um, everything is much better defined. I very much prefer this result over the upload I did a few months ago without big shadows. So here, this was my result from a few months ago, and here this just pops a lot better. Uh, just the shapes are uh, much more defined, and uh, in general, I uh, this looks. Uh, a lot more realistic. So, vert it. Now you know everything that you need to know to export your custom built light maps to Sketchfab. Um, so, I think this uh, clearly shows that there's quite a bit of uh, quality that you can show in uh, Sketchfab. Um, and I hope uh, that 
we will see this quality during the classes and during the exams at Digital Arts and Entertainment. If you are interested in Digital Arts and Entertainment, I suggest you check out the website. Thank you for watching and see you around.